I can I can hear something man. Now you need to just I'm shocked that I had never heard of this guy. I watched that video the first time and I ugly cried. This has got, it's got my wheels turning and, and That's the Jesus that Mormons believe in. Dallas Jenkins. Is that the Jesus that you presented in this video, in this TV series? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Unsolicited, episode 46. I'm your host, Norm, the master's dog, Dunham, a.k.a. The Evangelical Norm. So, Unsolicited is just that. It is my podcast where I provide my unsolicited opinion on things involving entertainment from a Christian worldview. So, movies, music, videos, uh, books... These are things I'm going to take a look at and, and give my reviews upon them, upon them. That sounded kind of uh, King James-ish, King James-ish, didn't it? Um, and so for the most part, the, the, the nuts and bolts of what I do here is reviews of Christian hip hop, uh, new albums coming out by, by Christian rap artists uh, that I really like. That's the 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 foundation of what this podcast is, but I'm moving on to do like movies. I've done some in the past. I'm trying to do more and more of that now. Uh, video reactions. Sometimes I'll do like secular artists, things that, that, that they do where if it's intersecting with the, the Christian worldview in some way, shape or form, you know, of course I'm not ever going to do a video review of anything by Cardi B because I mean, that's basically pornography and we're not going to do it, but I have done responses to, uh, childish Gambino and, uh, most recently Tom McDonald and, and stuff like that. So videos that, that kind of intersect with, with the Christian worldview, I'll take a look at, and then things that people just ask me to do. Um, I'm always open for requests. I'm always looking for new material to take a look at. So if there's an artist you think I should listen to and review their album, let me you know if you have an album uh, that you're you know up and coming in the the music industry or whatever shoot me a message uh, whether it's in the comments here on YouTube after you subscribed and like the video because apparently those things help my algorithms for more people to find me um, so subscribe and do that you can subscribe over on gab TV but then leave me a comment with a link to whatever it is you want me to take a look look at and review you can follow me over on Twitter at the Evangelical Norm or the Master's Dog. You can find me there. Of course, I'm on Gab TV and Facebook, Norm Dunham. Um, you can find me in some uh, some of the Christian uh, hip hop groups, Wrath and Grace Radio, Cross Examine, uh, Reformed Bars. Those are the places where I hang out over on Facebook. So you can find me. Let me know what it is you'd like me to look at. And that's what we're going to do today. This is a guy I've never heard of him. I don't know anything about him. But one of the guys I know uh, sent me a, a link and said, this is a guy, sent me a message today, and this is what he said. Um, sent me a message and said, you should check this guy out. Um, and here, if I can get it to pull up. It says, uh, he's a Christian rapper, but claims to be an outsider, not your typical Christian. He does have conservative views. Um and this song just came out a couple days ago. He's been out it for years. Um, so we, I did look him up a little bit. He does have a couple of, of different albums that are out. Um, one is called F.U., which, um, yeah, from a Christian worldview, I, I, I don't know that I can, <laughs> I can uh, agree with uh, a Christian making an album that is literally, I mean, it's, 
it's fudge, but it's, you know, the queen mother of all the F dash 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 word, the one that gets you stuck a bar of Life Boy soap and leads to soap poisoning, right? So um, it's that word, you, as an album title. So <laughs> again, and then even the dude's name, I'm like, it, it just, it, it puts me off on a, I mean, I'm automatically coming at this from an, uh, an attitude of, I don't know. <laughs> um, to, I mean, the guy, the artist's name is Mises. He's on Facebook as Saint Mises. Uh, so again, it, there's like this, this twisting of the name of Christ, the name of our Lord, making it Mises, um, which, I mean, there's a, a whole lot of satire that you can do. It's all about me. But the name of the song is Christian or Christian, it's a play on words, Christian, ain't Christian kind of thing. And so uh, my buddy asked me to take a look at it. I have not seen it. I have not heard it. I don't know anything um, that is here. Um, I'm going to try to read the lyrics as we, as we go along with this. So I need to pull that up quickly so I can read the lyrics as he goes. So, uh, but we're going to take a look at this. So this is Mises, uh, Christian, Christian, uh, and let's, uh, What's up? my name is pal. This is take, take one. A, uh, oops. Sorry. To be from. No, stop. We got to do it over here. Sorry. Technical difficulties. Here we go. Mises. Look how we look at each other, judging books by their cover. If I told you I was Christian, how quick you think I would judge you? Damn, I'm supposed to be known by my love, huh? So what's that look like from above, dog? Well, let me go ahead and sit in the seat this high. And tell all you people out there with me, it's not, not gonna sugarcoat it. No, nope. cussing like a sailor. Yeah, talking about a fisherman. <laughs> tell me they ain't swear. Fuck. Language warning, obviously. Okay, so here he's gonna do this whole thing. This is, uh, what was the guy's name? Jefferson. I can't think of his last name. Very Rathke something did a thing about why I, I I love Jesus but not religion. So this is this is gonna come at this year. I'm a Christian, um then uh but I'm gonna tell you what I'm not, and I'm not what all these other Christians are. So automatically and then, you know, cussing like a sailor, yep, okay. We have I don't expect people who are brand new Christians to automatically stop swearing and stuff. I mean, repentance and, and coming out of the world, and it, it takes some time. But there are scriptures that talks about you cannot curse God and, uh, and man with the same tongue. You know, there is, there's a point in time where being a Christian changes you. We don't get to stay in the same place doing the same sinful things that we've always wanted to do, right? We are changed. We become a new creation when we become a Christian. So I don't know how long this guy has claimed to be Christian, but if he's not maturing to the point that at some point in time, especially using the, the queen mother of all foul language, you know, again... I'm going to get people who are like, well, you don't buy, don't mind when Kurt Kennedy uses the N word and, and da da da. There's a point where those things need to go by the wayside. And you know, we can deal with the, the N word on a different level because again, it has different meanings where this word is always a curse word. There, there's no redeeming value to this. And I mean, you can have the argument that, that they've redeemed the N word and, and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, but to, to have these, this, I, I'm already at a point where I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm not with you on this because now what you're going to do, I, I'm telling you what he's going to do. 
um, and I haven't even seen the song, but he's going to go through, through and say things like, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not like these other Christians, I'm not judgmental, I'm not going to tell you what sin is, I'm not going to call you to repentance, I'm not even going to look at, worry about all that, and that's not Christian. Not a legalist, no. not a homophobe. There you go, not a legalist, not a homophobe. No. Yeah, I disagree, I do, but I ain't throwing stones. I ain't, I ain't. Okay, now see, here's the difference between throwing stones and calling people to repent. Calling people to repent, telling them something that they're doing is sinful and leading them to hell is not throwing stones. It's actually the loving thing to do. I ain't hold it wrong. Love. I'm well aware I'm flawed. No better than you, just better than who. I used to be back in the day and that's all. But are you? Are you better than who you were back in the day? I mean, it seems like you don't want to change a lot of stuff. You want to claim the name of Christ, but stay in a, a sinful attitude, a sinful place where, you know, let's, let's just curse all we want. And, and so, so I don't know. No, no MD, no degree, no paper on the wall. Not a doctor, not a scientist. I am just me. That's all. No judge, just a witness that I give it to you raw. Whatever I talk, trust that I walk. That's all that I done. That's all that I saw. No, not a theologian. Nah, not a Bible thumper. But everything that you're presenting right now, Mises, is theology. You're presenting theology. In this song, you, you claim to not be a theologian, and but you're dealing with theology. It is a it's a it's a worldview. And you're coming at it from whatever point of view you're coming at it from, you are dealing with theology. Every Christian is is a theologian at some point because you're dealing with theology no matter what. Nah. And it don't make me a better driver with a fish on my bumper. <laughs> not a priest, not a pastor, not really sure if I'm preaching. You are. Trust me, you are. What you're doing right now with the stuff that is showing up behind you, God rules, Jesus, truth, uh, you know, signs of the time, blah, 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 all this stuff. And what you're saying, you are preaching. But I'm damn sure not the soft type that'll sit back in these bleachers like oh. fear of rejection is kept my stomach and eyes, but not anymore. I'm not sure why I expect acceptance like I'm not in a war, but you're not my enemy, people. That's not where the battle starts. See, we need to treat the heart of the matter because it's a matter of heart. Ugh. Not cliche, not saying I have all the answers. And hell no, I ain't okay with little kids dying from cancer. And yeah, I cry, but don't ask me why if I can't ask you to what now. Because with all due respect, definitely catch up to it somehow. Like okay, so again, there's all this issue of I'm not okay with, with kids dying from cancer. Well, God is sovereign, right? And, and this, again, this is where people come back at, at Christians. If your God is so good, why are people dying from cancer and blah, blah, blah? Well, because God is sovereign and he is in control of these things. And we live in a fallen world where there is sin and death. And yeah, what he just said, death is going to catch up to us somehow. So why are we getting angry with God with one kind of death and not every kind of death? Because God's not responsible in the sense that we have brought death into this world through sin. That's how it got here. That's where it came from. God is sovereign over all of it. Yes, he is in control of everything, but he is he allows these things to happen to to use them to draw people to repentance, which apparently Mises you refuse to do. So again, you're not even giving them a an out. You're not even giving them the good news. You know, you're just like, well, you know, go do your thing and I'm not going to cast stones and I'm not going to judge you or anything like that. But I'm also not going to give you the antidote. I'm not going to give you what lays out for eternity for us. Right. Step off a ledge, right or not, you're going to fall like it or not. God doesn't need a permission. He is I am and I am I'm not. Stop with insanity, man cannot be who created the universe. Look, you don't like how he runs it. Well, tough shit. Truth hurts. Kinda okay, well, okay. So now you're kind of getting into a place where, but I mean, 
I don't know that tough cookies is is the. No, no, I just sounded so dorky. Um, yeah, that's the only word that we can come up with. It tough shit is not the answer that we can give. With the answer we should be giving is repent and put your faith in Christ. Is that going to solve all of these problems of death and cancer? No, but it's what you need for eternity. Otherwise, you're going to deal with all of this stuff here and now, and then you're going to go to hell. I like being crucified, but hey, it's cool if I spew out lies so that you and I don't feel because our two views collide. So instead, continue these try dialogues about the blue and sky, what we do in 9 to 5 till we use all the time signed in a short little few to lives and then die. Can't do it. All this arguing so damn foolish. I don't care what color Jesus was. All I know is that the man's Jewish. All I know is God became man because man tried to become him. Every race got red blood. That's why. Okay, so... All I know is God became man because man tried to become him. I don't know that that's a really good uh, doctrinal statement, but again, he's not a theologian. But it's God didn't become man because man tried to become God. God became man because man rebelled and sinned and became to be, was deceived into thinking he would become like God. Um but God became man because he knew he had to make the sacrifice upon the cross so that if people will repent and put their trust in him that they can be forgiven of their sin. But you don't want to judge, so why would you tell anybody that? Blood that covers sins, you'll never win with these conversations Going back and forth about denominations Nations rise up against nations, signs of the times got more blatant Hey man, I'm not the one, I'm not the son, not even close I don't love idols, I don't love titles, and I ain't bound to no pope I mean, there's there's a lot of really good stuff in that. So, I, I've got this kind of whole mixed thing where he, again, he's he's talking out of both sides of his mouth. There's a, a great deal of duplicitousness going on in this video um, and in this song. You know, he starts out where I'm not a homophobe, I'm not a legalist, I'm not any of this, I'm not going to call you to repentance and so on, but now I'm going to tell you about who God is and that I'd be pretty mad if my kids acted like I didn't exist, right? So, um, but again, the whole issue of arguing about denominations and so on, I mean, does it happen? Yes. Is that what the majority of Christians do? No. We are out here trying to share the gospel with people who are dying in their sins and going to hell. And that's not casting stones. That's not being homophobic. That's not being legalist. That is calling people to repent because they are dying in their sins. Apparently, you don't want to do that, Mises. You just want to, again, put it up. That I don't know what you're trying to do. So chill with the boxes that you put me in. Why are you standing on the outside looking in? Look at him. Took your sin and put it all out on display. Why are you like it? Look at him. Took his sin and put it all out on display. Okay. I, is this an implication that Jesus put his sin on display? Or I, I, I don't like that lyric. That bar is, isn't good. Um. Who are we looking at? Who put their took his sin and put it all on display? Obviously not Jesus. If you think that Jesus sinned, then you're wrong, and you have even no no idea how God who God is that became man. In the closet, acting like your life is gray. Okay. This is me, nothing more, nothing less. Do I love Jesus? Best belief is source, yes. But am I still a Christian? I ain't sure. Cause if it's everything I just said that I'm not, then not no more.
All right. So, yeah, that's um, interesting. Again, am I still a Christian if I ain't? Because everything I said I'm not. Well, you didn't really say that you're not a lot. I mean, the only things you actually said you were not was, let's go back in these lyrics. The only things you really said you're not is um, not a legalist, not a theologian, not a homophobe. Um, and again, none of those things make somebody a Christian. Christians can't be homophobic. You cannot hate or fear gays and be Christian. You, do we call them to repentance? Absolutely. That doesn't mean we hate them or fear them, and it doesn't make us a legalist. Um, not a doctor, not a scientist. Okay, well, none of that. No judge, just a witness, and I'll give it to you raw. Okay, not a theologian, not a Bible thumper. Not a priest, not a pastor. Okay, so there are some, a few things that you said, and then you did really break down kind of who Christ is. Well, but again... What, is it, what are they supposed to do with that? Again, loving Jesus does not save you. There's, a, there's, a, there's an unpopular opinion. Hashtag unpopular opinion. Loving Jesus doesn't save you because there's a lot of people out there who love Jesus and are continuing on in their sin who are still going to hell. Again, I, 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 this should be my like, foundation verse for every one of my episodes of, of all my podcasts because I seem to be saying it a whole lot lately. There are going to be people who think they are Christians, who love Jesus, who are going to approach him at the last day and say, Lord, Lord, did we not do these things in your name? And he's going to say, depart from me, you worker of iniquity. I never knew you because Jesus makes it very clear that we have to repent. That's not being legalist. That's not being a homophobe. That's not being an anything. That is calling people to repent so that they can put their trust in the salvific work that Jesus did on the cross, displaying their sin, not his sin, their sin, taking their sin upon him, carrying it to the cross and enduring the wrath of the father on their behalf, taking the penalty for their sin on their behalf so that if they will repent and put their trust in him and the work that he did on the cross, that they can be reconciled to the father. And what that does is that changes us, Mises. That changes us. Jesus says we are dead in our sin. We are made alive in Christ. We become a new creation. If we continue on in the in who we used to be, now, and granted you said, yeah, I'm not who I used to be, but it doesn't seem like you're progressing very much. It doesn't seem like you're allowing the Lord to truly change you to understand what it is that he's calling us to do because you're still sitting back in that, that place with the, with all the other Christians on Buzzfeed that say, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not this, I'm not that. And you might as well just say, I'm not a Christian. I am not a follower of Jesus Christ because I'm not willing to go and take the great commission that he commanded us to do and go and, and be and make disciples of all nations, commanding them to to obey the things that he's he's uh, he taught, and um, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, calling them to repentance, because that is what has to happen. They have to repent. We can't we can't just ignore the sin, and and again, that's not casting stones, that's not Bible thumping, that is literally doing what God has called us to do, rightly judging. We dealt with the, the, the plank in our eye, my own sin, and I have repented of that. Now it tells me to help my brother with the speck in his eye. So I have to point it out. You have sin. You need to repent so that you can take what you should see as a plank in your eye and I should recognize as a speck because of my plank. My sin is the greater one that needs to be dealt with. Yes, I've dealt with it. I have repented and put my faith and my trust in Christ. Now I have to do what he tells me to do, and that is help my brother with the speck in his own eye. And you, your words here, Mises, say that you don't want to do that. You would rather just leave the person alone in the burning building and not knock down the door and go drag them out because you don't want to hurt their feelings. You don't want to, you know, you, you don't want to insult their house. Oh, your house is on fire. What are you trying to say? My house is substandard that it's burning down. How judgmental are you? 
No, we kick down the door. We go and we drag them out of the fire, whether they're kicking and screaming or not. And, that, and if they want to get up and run back into the fire, then that's on them. But we have to show them the fire. We have to make them see the fire. Or at least try to make them see the fire. And it's not being insulting to them or their house to tell them your house is on fire. So, there you guys have it. There is, uh, that's Mises, that is Chris Jaint. Um, and, again, I always say I, I, I try to... Be, excuse me, be as encouraging as I can, but sometimes you just have to, you have to be honest. The song, I don't even really, I don't even like that kind of style of, of rap, that, that whole, I mean, that's kind of Tom McDonald, that's, that's, I don't know, it's just not my, you know, it, it, it feels more spoken word to me than rap. That's my opinion. And, there's going to be a lot of guys that are like, don't like my opinion, but that's fine. Um, but as far as, as Christian, no, no, I would say that, that you need to get deeper into the word Mises and, and get more mature in your faith. Um, at least to the point where you can stop dropping, you know, like the big curse words and, you know, Again, I don't expect people to, but I don't know how long you've claimed to be a Christian. And now you're claiming that you're not. You're going the, the same direction that, that so many other people are, are going. The Whatever the dudes from, I don't remember their names, some couple of guys, and then Josh Harris and, and you name it. People are, are walking away from, from the church because of legalism and, and stuff, but they don't recognize that this is what Jesus literally called us to do. So there's my opinion on Chris Jaint uh, by Mises. Uh, maybe we'll see what else he's got to put out, but I don't know that I'm going to be any more um, enthusiastic about anything else he's got after seeing this, if this is what he would call his mission statement. Not my, not my idea of anything Christian whatsoever. So uh, there you have it, guys. As always, preach the gospel at all times. Use words. They're necessary. Until next time, Soli Deo Gloria. Mm -hmm.